You got hit by a horse trailer? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Just on your way out of Hartzell or? Yeah, no, in Idaho. Oh, okay. Um, no shoulder. And, uh, was, uh, I saw the truck pass me and then he tried to, like, scooch over to the right. And he clipped me with it, like, the back of the trailer. You know, it had, like, a little, uh, like, a lip that came out. And he, it just, I was in my aero bars, but he hit, hit this, which just spun everything sideways over I went. I don't even think he knew. Or if he did know, he didn't stop. But, like, everybody else stopped. That's Idaho. I'm not going back to Idaho. I'm at this gas station trying to do a resupply. And I'm literally like trying to work all the logistics in my head. I'm texting uh, Kirsten over at the Brush Mountain Lodge because when you're in Rollins, it's only like a day away. Trying to figure out if I'm going to continue, if I'm going to go feed people at Brush Mountain. Like, no plan is coming together. That would have been cool. And at some point, I'm going to be on, like, a Walmart tricycle headed to Virginia. Like, it's just not working out. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And I'm doing the resupply. And uh, I noticed this couple keeps kind of staring at me, which is not abnormal. <coughs> and... Uh, Go outside, and um, I'm kind of re I'm kind of packing my my resupply, and they come over, and, and I noticed that on their truck they have a pretty sporty like high, very very high end road bike. Mm -hmm. And he, he kind of starts asking me what I'm doing, um, kind of a typical conversation. Um, but then it's like instantly engaged. Uh, both he and she were like completely just like they couldn't absorb quick enough all the stuff that I was doing at the same time. So that, um, you know, it got me moving forward, I guess. But it was a lot of work. A lot of work. I'm back. I'm surprised uh, you stayed in front of Nathan as long as you did. I thought he was going to just zip right by you. Um, yeah, I, I, I yeah, kind of thought that he would too. To I will. I'll get back out there and I'll catch him. Um, yeah, was it they say, uh, you know, it's only an adventure when the plan falls apart? Exactly. Yeah. Got it. I said earlier, I think Facebook would be like, uh, it's not about. Well, oh, it's pretty fitting because it's there's been a lot of hiccups on the ride this far. Yeah, it's been fun to watch and it's been definitely doing a great job on Facebook. Yeah. Well, people good. like to connect, you know. Yeah, I think it's about time that you uh, do a good, good clean run, at least on the planes. I haven't missed any turns. That's clean. I was proud. <laughs> yeah. I was proud. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to work out um, logistics of having a cracked frame, but you didn't know why it cracked. Getting it somewhere where somebody can look at it that you trust. Like, this is it. And it's off route, and it'll cost me however long it takes to get back. But part of doing these ultra events, um, you gotta have your stuff squared away. You gotta have trust in it. You gotta uh, have trust in the people. Otherwise, you're just you, know, you just stress over it continually. And it just got to the point, especially when I opened that second bike, that. Uh, it's like, man, the only way I'm going to get moving again is if I get my stuff to Scott here and get it squared away and get it put back together the way it needs to be. And um, so I wasn't going to get to Virginia. Well, you know, I give it everything I had.
And this has been a tailwind the whole time, right? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what was that? Uh, coming out of Rollins, 35 mile an hour headwind with 50 mile an hour gusts. Like, you can't ride. I walked like 10 miles, like on a highway. Like, I wanted to take a nap, you know, but there's nothing. I mean, it's super exposed. Like, there's no. I mean, you're on a highway. Scott looked at it and uh, he said he thinks it's isolated, so we'll hope so. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Um, no idea. But it cracked good. Like, it was, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm lucky if I was where I was at. Who was the lot of luck? So it took me a little longer to get here. Than, uh, than I had planned. Um, so the plan is just to get this together, eat. Um, you know, you, you reach a point in these races where that whole like four hours of sleep and eating on the go and like that all falls apart. Um, and I'm I'm totally there. Like I'm at like six hours a night of sleep is is really what I need. Yeah. To do well during the day, you'll see a lot of people still try to, to push through and try to like make up time at night and all that kind of silliness. But to me, it is silliness anyway. Maybe not. You know, I cannot. And I I've really learned that as soon as I get tired, like I just need to go to sleep. Like you get so inefficient. Like you, uh, like I'll stop on the side of the road and pedal with something, and I'm like, what am I? Doing? Like this. Is the go to sleep. <coughs> um, so I just have to get this together. I have a real meal here. Over there, maybe. And then um, That's good. You hopefully know. ride this wind back to Hartz. It was a headwind the whole time, but as soon as I leave it'll die down, you know. You know that's okay. I don't, uh, I don't mind. It's going to feel good though to be back on this road bike. I mean even coming down the hill like Scott was killing me on his road bike, yeah. like just flying, and here I am trying to like work, run out of gears, and um, I mean the mountain bike, uh, you know, it has its place, but it was just so inefficient. It was hurting. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's the plan. In, you also reach a point, like I always try to like psychoanalyze everything, right? So you think about like, like baby seal training. Like I think there's a reason that it's hell week and not hell two weeks. I mean there is a limit and you get to the point where your daily routine out here really has to be, it has to be sustainable. Uh, which means, at least for me, not for my call maybe, uh, you know, stopping, eating, uh, you know, getting the rest in and recover. Because uh, your body just doesn't recover the same. You did the same on the Tour Divide? Same kind of strategy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, um, I, I haven't really been following, like, what's going on in the Trans Am. Like, I, I really don't know where anyone is, and I don't really want to know because... Okay. I'm here. Yep, exactly. <laughs> you know, so it's like, you know what, I'll catch them when I catch them. Right. Or I won't catch them when I don't catch them, and that's okay, too. Um, it's a good attitude. Yeah. Um, well. Opposite of what I would want to know. <laughs> when I'm out there, I'm like, yeah, where are they? <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, when it's all the same level playing field, but right. you know, when you're wasn't. dealing with stuff that you can't control, like, there's no sense of stressing over it. I mean, I was, you know, still able to pull off 200 mile days on the mountain bike. I can, you know, I'll do okay on this. I'll, yeah. I'll pull it off. <laughs>